Too much light, sorry Jeff. Put the lights out, please. It's hurting my pupils. Wow, that's that's a great question. I wasn't expecting that question. Aren't you Patrick Star? Yep. And this is your ID. Yep. I found this ID in this wallet, and if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. I'm a size 14, 16, and I'm too skinny for the plus size girls, but I'm too fat for the skinny girls. And everyone is about body positivity, but neither of those groups will accept me, so that has left me in an enraged state of body dysmorphia, and I don't know what to do. Drink iced coffee. Panic attack, drink ice coffee, panic attack. Skies blue like the Atlantic and I'm going down like the Titanic. Skies blue like the Atlantic and I'm going down like the Titanic. You guys, I just, oh my god, am I okay? I never want to look at myself ever again. <laughs> the first time I went to the emergency room for a panic attack, the nurse said, I need to put EKG stickers on your chest. And I said, careful, I haven't worked out in a really long time because he was about to, about to lift my shirt. And so he did and he said, don't worry, I've seen a lot worse. And I was like, Fuck. <laughs> what do I look like to other people? Is it that bad? And he was like, oh, no, I work in the emergency room. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're not talking about my, my love handles. You're talking about, like, bullet wounds. And he was like, yes. But sometimes I think about that when I get naked. Honey, a little patty. She my little bull thing. Funny. Oh my gosh, Julia looks so pretty today. Yeah, but don't bother telling her, she won't believe you. What do you mean? Why would you say that? She claims she has this made up thing called body dysmorphia. She's just looking for attention. Body dysmorphia is a very real thing. Oh yeah, then what is it? It's a mental illness where you have an obsessive focus on a flaw or flaws in your body, even if it's minor. <laughs> yeah, that's called insecurity. Everybody has that. But do you spend hours of your day comparing yourself to models, looking in the mirror and wishing you would do anything to fix yourself, crying about it so much to where you don't even go out in public because you're afraid of people seeing you how you see you? Well, no. That's not how it is for everybody, but that's how it can be. Body dysmorphia is very real, and it affects about 1 in 50 adults. That's a lot more than I realized. Yeah, not only that, but the flaw that the person obsesses about may not even exist in the first place. And complimenting somebody with body dysmorphia can help them through it. All of the things I do. Uh -oh. I like it, but not a lot. I don't like it. What a beautiful wedding. She's a bridesmaid to the wedding. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. The poor groom's bride is all. What a nice. No. I shine in with a habit you people ever heard of. Okay. Let's talk about body dysmorphic disorder, otherwise known as BDD, and is usually under the umbrella of obsessive compulsive. That is body dysmorphic disorder, meaning if you, for women a lot, it would be this area, this muffin top area, 
and will obsess about it to where in the mirror you can only see this, but you don't just see this as just this. You see it as it being like this. So a lot of times it could be a skewed perception. In men, a lot of times it's seen from a muscle perspective where the guys, you'll see them, their arms get bigger and they're like, I don't know if I like my arms. So just keep in mind that it is part of, um, it's linked closely to obsessive compulsive disorder. And it's also where a lot of times you'll avoid mirrors or you'll look in a mirror and you'll only see that flaw. Your eyes will only go there and you start really feeling bad about yourself. Um, it is a lot more common and it is known to be one of the more secretive obsessions. No. <laughs> okay. Try to put your face back to normal. But I want to That's see. not it. Mm. Do you think that's right? Let's get in there. <laughs> oh my god. Are you sure? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really you. I think I'm losing my mind. Trying to stay inside the lines. It's like y'all wanted to play For no reason at Baba Boy Baba Boy Baba Boy Baba Boy want to alarm you, dearest, but I'm afraid I've lost the sight in my eye. Move your hand, Nigel. Ooh, that shit don't even make no fucking sense. 21 minutes until I gotta go, so I told that girl I'm gonna slaughter it. Hey, hey, off the juice, coding got me tripping. 
All right, so the answer to this one is pretty simple. If your friends tell you you look like this, but you think you look like this, then you've probably got it. Welcome to the club, man. That's just what kings do. I'm fucked up. You was at the club. Bottoms up when I first met you. I didn't get enough. Hi, so I'm Kenna, and this is me showing what my body looks like. Um, I just bought new jeans, and I thought these jeans would fit. This is how I view myself. I think I would fit into these jeans. Look, brand new. And I thought they would fit me. No, I am gonna leave. And it's all because... Put this shirt on and it's cute so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the house in it i'm gonna i'm gonna go out in the shirt that i feel cute in inside i'm gonna go on the outside of i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go in the shirt that i feel cute in oh